Okay, to bring this first class to a close, we are going to add a little bit of music. To add some music, if you haven't done so already from the setup wizard, go over here to file menu and choose load music. All right, so we have some setup here and grab our mp3 file. If your music isn't an mp3 file, you can choose other types or just choose all files. Envision supports a wide variety of music files. So let's go ahead and open that. And then we can come up here to sync music. Now sync music opens up an area where we can connect the music uh, to our drill sets. So let's go ahead and just press play and see what happens. Okay, so I was just pressing spacebar as I went along there. Now you notice that it has the set numbers here, so one, two, three, four, and it has the counts that are in those sets. So you'll see that I made a little mistake here. The first set is actually 16 counts, but I saved it as eight counts, or as the length of eight counts. So very easily, we can go back to here, and then if you press play and it crosses a set that already exists, it'll just remove that set. So let's press play and it's gone. So that's 16 counts, but now we only have three sets. So what are we gonna do about that? Uh, we can add another one. So you can just come back to here, press play, and we can continue on. Now you see that what I'm doing is I'm pressing spacebar on count one of every set. Again, if you make any mistakes, you can always go back and fix those errors. There's also ways to change the sets individually in the timeline once you have finished setting the sets to the music here. Now, if you want to go back later, you want to add more sets to it, and you want to do the entire production, or you want to um, edit it, or if you have a different version of the music that you want to resync to, you can always come back up here. You can load different music if you want, and you can go back into sync music and resync it the way that you like. All right, so we added a little bit of music. Let's see what happens. Let's go into our 3D mode, zoom out a little bit. Now one thing that I have to mention that has to do with playback, you'll see that we have these two little arrows here. We have the green arrow and the red arrow. Now these are the playback range. So if I played it back right now, it's going to play back from set 3 to set 4. So let's just try that. Press play. You can also press play just by pressing the space bar. And you can also stop it by pressing the space bar again. Okay, so let's move the screen to the beginning and let's see if we can watch our entire production. Change our angle a little bit and here we go. Okay, thank you for watching Envision University, Envision 101. I um, hope you learned something. There's going to be more Envision University tutorials to come. Thanks for watching.